Hey guys, it's phase one. Today I kind of want to go through the newly revealed RSI Zeus Mark II. Um, and um, to be quite honest, I have to admit, this is a beautiful uh, set of ships, all three variants. I'm loving the way they look. And um, you know what? Um, after the release of the A1, if you look at this, this um, concept as well, it seems like CIG is really pushing the that mid-tier type of ship or medium side type of ships where whereby it offers uh, multiple gameplay and accessibility to um, especially knowing the fact that the scale of the universe is about to expand um, knowing um, pyro is just about to hit the uh, preview um, channel where we're going to need to travel further further for a lot longer distances so you're going to need medium size and up ships, right? You're not going to be traversing around with fighters or, you know, smaller ships unless they're, they're exploration ships, right? So, um, so these medium sized ships are what, um, are going to be, um, fit in that sweet spot where you can be able to, you'll be able to, uh, traverse and do your regular activities, your daily driver activities in each system right so so let's just get straight into it the zeus mark ii okay so it comes with three variants right i believe this is a cl this is the es and this is the mr okay and um so the cl right so what i kind of wanted to go through is why should you get each variant so the first one is the cl right why, why would you uh, want to get no this is not even a ceo this is the es this is the es right here es right i love the skin of this right so when we look at the es right it's called the essential all right let's just get a little bit of details on it it says zeus mark 2 essential with the focus of exploration the zeus mark 2 is uh the zeus mark 2 es features a robust radar package to finding new discoveries along with enhanced weaponry shielding to help bring them back home so this is a solid starter ship if you are not interested in the smaller size auroras um mustangs and you want to step up to like the cutlass size type ships this is a solid contender to get yourself um into the verse i think this the uh, es will give you give you all the gameplay experiences you need it's a solid multi-role vehicle right and what i find is um exploration we haven't fully seen exploration in star citizen but it's going to be huge when we think about the introduction of the star map and the ability to um mark locations and save them and to be able to share with friends but also to be able to sell it to others is going to be huge right so let's say for example um you're out exploration you're out exploring with the es you have a lot more range to scan down anomalies or points of interest that other people may not be able to see so you have that advantage right you'll be able to find these anomalies or these locations perhaps it's an asteroid belt an asteroid belt that has some lucrative ore that is going to be valuable to a mining organization so now just imagine you're the only one that's out there you find it you have the range to jump to it get the location if there's anything there that you think is valuable that you can grab for yourself you can grab it put it on board and then you can store that information of where it is and sell it later or give it to your org so that your org can make an expedition out there to start mining operations so this is a solid ship if you're getting into the verse if you're new to the game and you're looking to spend a little bit extra and you're looking for that medium range vehicle to get started with the zeus mark ii es is the ship for you this ship is um I actually wanted to get through to the actual specs of it first here, right? So this ship cruise three with three suit lockers, 32 SCU, 
of um, cargo space. So you have a little bit of space to grab things that you find that you think is valuable. What makes this thing solid is the fact that it has four size two shield generators. That is huge. That is huge. Let's let's put things in perspective. An Aegis uh, Vanguard, which is a medium um, size uh, heavy fighter. It's a heavy fighter, right? And it's a tanky vehicle. It has, I think, two size two shields or maybe one, right? You have four for an exploration ship general purpose type ship all right so it's a solid contender for sure okay so you have one size three fuel um uh fuel so you're looking at long ranges right like we need to start thinking outside of stanton we're looking at pyro now and what we did see in the showcase in regards to pyro what we did notice is that the distances between planets are massive and so fuel is going to be very important so having a ship like this small enough that it's not too high maintenance but it has the fuel tank um to take you to places you need to be and to do the missions you need to do is a winner for me okay it also has one size three radar which would allow you to also probe the system and be able to find those anomalies that a regular ship will not be able to find okay so now when we look into the interior okay so the interior is solid right you have enough space to put a, a, a vehicle as well right so that that's that's um this adds to the multi-role um, aspect of this right you can put cargo as well as uh, a vehicle or anything that you find right so let's say for example you you find an anomaly you jump there it turns out to be a, a crashed ship and it has a really nice weapon or some components you can grab them and put them in here right even up to size threes you can fit them all in here and take them with you and if it's worth salvaging you save the location and you take it back and get your crew to come and bring a reclaimer to salvage at that location right so it's good in that regard right you have crew stations here um which is a nice space it's a nice it's a nice little space like when i'm when i'm looking at this i'm comparing this to the cutlass and the amount of space you have is is so good so 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 good okay also suit lockers for everybody so that looks like you're gonna have you're going to have um weapon um as well as suit so each crew member will have their own little slot to to have their the things that they need and um the of course the cockpit has the three seats okay so this is a solid contender for a starter not starter but a semi-starter ship if you look if you're looking into getting into the game and you want to have something solid to take you into pyro okay so up next is the mr okay so that the mr is a beautiful ship me myself i had to get this one myself because um one of the gameplay loops that i'm interested in is bounty hunting and it's it's uh it's a career that i also want to do on the side as well and also it's a it's a badass looking ship you know it's beautiful i love it right so what do we get with the mr and why should you get an mr when we look into the mr big feature is it has the emp as well as the qed so you can stop and you can hold people so if you're doing bounty hunting this is the ship it has all the tools you need in one ship okay you have an immense sense of you have an immense amount of firepower front facing firepower okay so this vehicle has a turret front facing turret two size four guns as well so these are two size twos i believe two size four guns for the pilot and also at the bottom there's another remote turret right all of it front facing so that's a lot of firepower. So you can take down vehicles or ships relatively quickly once you get there, okay? 
I mean, it'll also be a nice versatile ship if you add maybe some uh, distortion cannons on the top and then the rest will be lasers. Solid, solid. EMP, Kiwi D, distortions, lasers, all around bounty hunting ship. Okay. So what do we have here? A crew of three, three size two shields, so just one shield less than the ES. So which isn't bad. So you can tank a little bit with this one. 16 SCU of cargo space. And uh, you have one size three remote turret says here. I believe there should be two. Yeah. Yeah, two. Okay two turrets you actually have so two turrets and then your pilot guns okay emp and qed and onboard armory so let's look at the interior of this vehicle so now when we look at this vehicle what's what's huge what i really like about this is the fact that you have prisoner transport pods here right so bounty hunting is going to be a uh, an amazing mechanic they did give us a glimpse at this citizen con the fact that you'll be able to restrain people once you knock them down is so good so so good i'm loving that gameplay you know in addition to this you have some space you might be able to fit a small vehicle here if you like to bring it along with you and you also have enough space to also grab anything that you do find that you think it's worthwhile okay you also have armory weapons gear everything all in one space solid crew habitation for all three of you and um suit lockers as well so there's a lot of there's a lot of amenities that this ship comes with okay so why should you get the mr if you're interested in getting into the game you don't want to start a ship but you want something mid-tier, cutlass size, and you want to get into bounty hunting or combat, the Zeus MR is the ship that will tailor that gameplay for you. You can bring a little bit of um, cargo with you. You can also store maybe a small vehicle as well for a little bit of multi-role purpose as well but uh this ship is solid for bounty hunting that's that's what it's dedicated for so this is the ship for you if that's the type of gameplay you're looking for okay so now the last variant that i wanted to cover today is the cl okay good looking ship i like the colors okay so now the cl why should you get the cl if you're looking to get into cargo If you're looking into getting into cargo, hauling, but you don't want to start off with an Aurora or a small vehicle like the Nomad or anything like that, and you want to do some some hauling to just get you into uh, that field, this is a solid ship for you. Also, I think it's also good for multi row as well because you have the extra cargo space to do other things store vehicles do a little bit of exploration not as much as the es but you could do that right with a crew of three three size two shields so the same as the mr just one under the es okay 128 scu so this is where it shines that extra cargo space and i think this does i think this is better than the connie i think this does better than the connie constellation andromeda i think the andromeda is I believe 96 SU. Right? So you cannot go wrong with this if you're trying to get into cargo, cargo running. And what a lot of people are not um, paying attention to is these class of ships. The one, the most comparable ship this would be competing with will be the Spirit Series. And one significant thing that's noticeable about the Spirit Series is the fact that they're fast and nimble. And you can rest assured that these ships are going to be fast and nimble, right? So if you want to do cargo running, fast and nimble, hard to catch, a little bit of multi-row, this is the ship for you. 
right? With the size one tractor beam, solid to help you grab um, cargo containers or objects that, are little, that the multi-tool is unable to handle. This is going to be very useful, right? And you have a one size two quantum fuel tank. So you have a little bit of range with this, not as much as the ES, but it's decent to move you from um, rest stop to rest stop if you need to refuel in pyro or any of other uh, large size systems. All right, so let's look into the interior of this, right? So you have that extra cargo right here, extra cargo that you can carry, okay? And that's the main difference of this one and the other ones, that extra cargo plus the tractor beam. Okay, so you guys let me know which one are you guys going for, right? When we look at the pricing, we're looking at um, store credit 150 for the ES um, CL, but 190 for the MR because of the extra features that it comes with, right? Or war bond 135, 135, 170. Okay, you guys let me know down below which one are you looking to get and by the way my org phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players and if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like let me know which one you're gonna get in the comments down below i'll see you guys on the next video